Praise the Lord. Good morning. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here this Wednesday morning to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in our world. As I always say, beloved and friends, that we are living in a very sick and sinful world. But Jesus Christ himself promised, he says, Lo, I am with you all always I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world isn't that awesome this morning isn't that great isn't that mighty isn't that majestic that God himself promised to be with us in every situation in every circumstances in every trial in every testing in every storm in every decision making in this sick and sinful world he said in his words a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come by thy dwelling welcome this morning give a big hand God bless you which I sincerely from my heart I release that very special blessing upon your life and I pray that God will bless you physically spiritually socially materially financially educationally every area in your life and whatever you do with your two hands it shall prosper in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus let me break it down today. I pray that God will bless your homes. God will bless that child that you have. God will bless your children. He will bless your finances, bless your business, bless you on the job, give you favor and promotion on the job. And whatever you do with your two hands, it shall prosper in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Hallelujah. Praise God this morning, beloved. I cover every Everyone who are listening this morning under the precious blood and I build a hedge around your life I build a hedge around your life for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and the blood of Jesus is so powerful the blood of Jesus is the repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness this morning every spirit of witchcraft oh be a demonic forces evil blacks generational curses where the fourth second tour of fourth generational curse i break i reverse in the name of jesus by the blood of Jesus, I break these curses upon your life. In Jesus' name, every chain is broken, every barrier is broken, every fetter is broken. In Jesus' name, for whom the Son set free is free indeed. You are free this morning. In Jesus' name, let's give a big hand. You are free in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus said in his words also, healing is the children's bread. And the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing. For he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes I am healed, you are healed, you are healed, we are healed in Jesus name, isn't that awesome today, praise God, Father God this morning I pray that you dip this man of God in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit, anoint this prophet this morning, born out every sickness born out every pain, born out every disease, born out every infirmities, born out every evil and every work of darkness from this mortal man of clay as I minister your words your words will go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit that many will be healed many will be saved many will be blessed many will be delivered many will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name. Amen. Let's give him a big hand. Praise God. My friends, my friends, and brother and loved ones, you are special today. Every believer is special in the sight of God, in the eyes of God, because you've been bought with the price. 
the price of the only begotten son of God Jesus Christ came in this world and he died for me and you because of his great love to bridge the gap between man and God and to reconcile us back to himself my friends and beloved God loves you very much today you are special you are a chosen generation a royal priesthood hears and join tears with Christ yes you are a son of God and a daughter of God. God loves you very much. He is your father. Hallelujah. You are no longer a slave. You are not a slave. Don't let anyone fool you. You are not a slave. You are a child of God. You are a child of the living God. You are not a slave. You are special in the eyes of God. And my friends, the Bible tells us if our earthly fathers know to give his children very good gifts, much as our heavenly father, I have three children one daughter and two sons my two sons are prince and my daughter is a princess I treat them like prince and princess they are my heroes whatever I work for belongs to them whatever I sweat for belongs to them they will enjoy my inheritance likewise our father this whole universe belongs to the world of this world belongs to God and we are heroes and joint heroes with Christ you are not a slave you are a child of the king you are special your hearers and joint tears with Christ beloved and friends your hearers and joint tears with Christ and you have to learn to be a child of God you are a child of the king so walk as a king's child yes walk as a princess walk as a prince walk as a child of the king talk like a child of the king live like a child of the king by faith my friends and beloved because Jesus Christ is now your Lord and Savior and you are no longer a slave hallelujah praise God one of it one no one in this world is so strong my friends let me get into the word and the one is so strong in the world that they, they never doubt never doubt God I know sometimes you might want to doubt God and say I'm going through so much testings and trials and tribulation how can I be a child of the king but I want to let you know you are a child of the king you have never ex you have experienced doubt of many kind but I want to let you know don't let doubt rob you of his blessing you have never experienced doubt of any kind my friends no matter who you are this morning or how good you are at your craft today you have doubted at some point in your life Life. Yes, you've been doubted if you're good enough, good enough for that company, if good enough for that church, good enough for that position, you've doubted you'll be good enough for that exam. You may have doubted, my friends, if you make it through the night at some point, at some point, and even as, as Christians, believers, just because you are a Christian, a believer, that doesn't make you exempt from the feeling of doubt today. Praise God, doubt will attack. Doubt will attack even as you believe, my friends, and as you have to choose if you really believe today in the God, in the God who says you believe, you believe. Yes, my friends, now this morning when it comes to your relationship, with your relationship with God, doubt is the absence of faith. And equal faith, equally faith is the absence, absence, listen carefully, of doubt. Praise God. And I believe, my friends, that the, the basis, the basis for salvation today is faith, is faith, faith to me is absence of fear. Absence of fear is the absence of doubt, my friends. This is not, not to say you will not feel emotion. Yes you can feel it but faith overrides it faith overrides it if faith overpowers that feeling today now let me explain to you why doubt doubt is so so dangerous yes a doubting person cannot have faith yes my friends and when you don't have faith today praise God Hebrews let's turn to Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 it says 
tell you without faith without faith is impossible totally impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him comes to him must believe that he he exists he exists and that he rewards those who honestly and diligently seek him hallelujah a doubting person my friends does not please God almighty doubt is the time of a lack of knowledge lack of knowledge about who god is my people perish because of the lack of knowledge and doubt is the enemy enemy of faith and so today how do you address this issue of doubt how you address sins this morning let me tell you that this is where the word of god comes hallelujah in in our faith today must be built built upon the word of God. Yes, my friends, Matthew, let's turn to Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 to 27, says clearly, it says, therefore, therefore anyone who hears these words of mine, these words of mine, and put them, put them into practice, is like a wise man who built his house, who built his house on the rock, yes, and the rain came down, the rain came down, the streams rose, yes, and the winds blew and beat, it beat venomously against the house, yet it did not fall, it did not fall because it has, has its foundation on the rock, yes, my friends, but everyone who hears these words of mine today and does not put them into, into practice, he, like a foolish man, a foolish man who built his house on on sand yes and the rain came down rain came down the streams rose the streams rose and the winds blew and beat against that house hallelujah and it fell praise God with a great with a great crash it fell with a great crash and if you build your life on the words of Jesus Christ hallelujah your house will not fall your house will not fall your feet will not fail yes and if you build your feet this morning on Jesus Christ beloved and friends he is the rock of ages and when the rains of life comes when the rain of life comes and the flood of life comes and hallelujah when the winds blew blew and beat on you yes and it will you will not fall because you are standing standing on a rock standing on a rock and the rock is Jesus Christ let's give a big hand now let us pray let us pray this morning hallelujah Lord Jesus be praise be glorified this morning and be honored this morning yes father forgive us forgive us if we have ever doubt you oh father forgive us of of, or of your word even for a moment i pray lord that you will displace any doubt doubt in our hearts in our lives today i ask i ask that the holy spirit will empower us oh father and strengthen us to believe in your word let's pray without without hesitation when we are confronted by by doubt oh father remind us that what your word what your word says oh father when we feel as though we are weak when we fulfill feel as though we are weak holy spirit holy ghost reminds us that god's words in second corinthians chapter 2 verse 12 to 9 10, 10 tells us clearly it says it says my grace is sufficient for you hallelujah for my strength is made perfect in weakness yes my strength is made perfect in weakness therefore most gladly i will rather boast Boast in my infirmities that the power of Jesus Christ will rest upon me. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, yes, in needs. Hallelujah. In 
in persecutions, yes, in distresses, yes, for Christ's sake, for Christ's sake, for when, when I am weak, when I am weak, then I am strong, hallelujah, praise God, we believe, my friends, we believe in your word, Lord Jesus, Jesus, when we are weak, you are our source of strength, hallelujah, when we are powerless, powerless when we are strong in you lord we are able to draw on your strength today we praise you lord because your grace your grace is sufficient for to meet to meet and satisfy our every need yes your loving kindness your loving kindness is enough to fill every void in my life in your life yes i pray you because because your mercy King Jesus Lord Jesus is more than enough more than enough your mercy is always available and never ending hallelujah it overcomes a multitude of sins hallelujah for this for this we are grateful this morning Lord Jesus I pray for anyone struggling with fear today in their lives, anyone who is wrestling, wrestling with doubt today. Yes, may the Holy Spirit invade their lives this morning and displace every spirit spirit every spirit that stands against the word the word of god almighty may the holy spirit sweep away every negative thought yes or voice today that stands against the word of almighty god wrap your minds my friends and wrap your minds lord jesus with your mountain and your comfort fill us holy spirit yes so that we may choose we may choose faith over fear today fill us with faith lord jesus holy spirit yes steady our emotions keep us anchored today in the word of god yes keep us keep us rooted rooted in and grounded in scriptures cast out cast out all our worries yes and all our fears today yes and every every doubt oh father in joshua in joshua chapter 1 verse 9 tells us it clearly says have i not commanded you commanded you be strong be strong and courageous do not be afraid do not be afraid do not be discouraged for the lord your god will be with you hallelujah whenever wherever wherever you go god promised to be because of your word we declare this morning and believe that we will not we will not be afraid for anything in this world in jesus name hallelujah we will not be discouraged yes by people by people or circumstances in Jesus name who will plant words in our life as our children we will not fear because you are with us oh father you are the God the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob yes you are the god of abraham isaac and jacob a god who has never lost a battle and so father today we are only strong strong and courageous because you are on our side yes on our side oh father help me not to let my heart let my heart today overwhelm your word in psalm psalm 61 verse 1 to 4 clearly tells us yes, Yes, it says your wings it says oh God listen to my cry hear my prayer from the ends of the earth and ends of the world I cry for help this morning when my heart is when my heart is overwhelmed lead me towards to, towards the rock of safety for you are my safe safe refuge today father a fortress where my enemies enemies cannot reach me hallelujah let me live live forever in your presence in your sanctuary safe bring in the shelter 
the shelter of your wings, O oh Father. Father, today, my Lord and Father, may you dwell in my in, in, in your presence. May I dwell in your presence forever. You are a strong tower or a divine refuge and a safe place. O oh Father, be glorified this morning and praise forever. Forevermore is given a hand in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Isn't that awesome, my friends? Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's read the scripture. Hebrews 11 verse 6 again. And without faith is impossible to please God Almighty because anyone who comes to him, yes, must believe that he exists, he exists, and that he rewards those who honestly seek him. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Let's look at the next scripture this morning before we close. Hallelujah. Matthew 7, 24, verse 27. Him, therefore, anyone who hears these words of mine, hallelujah, and puts them into, into practice is like a wise man who built his house, who built his house on the rock. Yes, my friends the rain came down the streams rose it rose fiercely and the winds blew and beat against that house like a hurricane yet it did not fall like a tornado because it has its foundation on on the rock yes but everyone who hears these words of mine hallelujah and does not put them put them into practice is like a fool a foolish man who built his house who built his house on sand and the rain came down yes and streams rose it rose and the winds blew and beat against that house yes my friends and it fell and great was the fall a great a great a great fall yes my friends hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus let's look at the next scripture second Corinthians 12 verse 9 to 10 crash crash my grace my grace is sufficient for you my strength is made perfect in weakness there there therefore most gladly most gladly I will rather boast in my infirmities than the power of and that the power of Christ may rest upon me it may rest upon me therefore I take pleasure this morning in infirmities, in reproaches, yes, in needs, in needs, hallelujah, in persecutions, yes, in distress, hallelujah, for Christ's sake, for Christ's sake, for when I am weak, when I am weak, then I am strong, when I am weak, then I am strong, hallelujah, praise God, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, praise God, let's look at Joshua 1, verse 9, have I not, I commanded you, am I commanding you be strong be strong and courageous and be not afraid be not afraid do be not be discouraged today for the Lord for the Lord your God will be with you yeah the Lord of God wherever you go my friends wherever you go the Lord will be with you hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus yes hallelujah Psalm 64 verse 1 to 4 go O Lord listen Listen to my cry, my prayer from the ends of the earth, O oh Father. I cry for you to help me when my heart is is overwhelmed lead me to the towering rock yes to the rock of safety for you oh god you are my safe refuge today a fortress where my enemies my enemies cannot reach me oh father let me live forever in your presence in your sanctuary safe safe beneath the shelter hallelujah praise god hallelujah praise the lord has given my Hallelujah. Praise God. There is a, 
a tremendous anointing of God the Holy Spirit in this place today where we're listening from this morning if you're listening from the USA the UK Canada the Caribbean any part of Europe or the world today is your day for a miracle today is your day for healing today is your day for deliverance today is your day for salvation right now my friends if you're sick in the hospitals in the bed if you're sick in your homes in your bed whatever manner of sicknesses and pain and disease that you have today the man of God is back here this Wednesday morning to tell you and you will not die but you will live you will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny and right now whatever sickness you have i want to introduce you to the healer the healer jesus christ himself the healer he is a healer of your soul and he is a healer of your body for he was wounded for your transgressions he was bruised for your iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes i am healed you are healed you are healed we are here this morning in jesus name hallelujah praise god if you're suffering this morning if you have cancer if you have aids you have COVID, you have diabetes heart problem liver problem lungs problem kidney problem blood issue a blood dialysis problem prostate cancer what the case may be this morning today could be the day for your miracle and healing my friends if you're suffering with depression oppression frustration anxiety God gonna touch you and heal you if you're blind you're deaf you're dumb you're lame today God gonna touch you and heal you from that sickness and disease if you're suffering with a migraine headache today is your day for a miracle if you're suffering with arthritis pain today is your day for a miracle if you have diabetes your blood is messed up you're just skin and bone God is touching your blood disorder right now and is healing you right now in the name of Jesus. He has all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease. If you're demon possessed today, I command those harassing demons to leave right now in the name of Jesus. Those harassing demons, I command them to leave in the name of Jesus. Be gone, be gone in the name of Jesus. I say, I see the spirit realm that many around the world and many here are receiving their healings right now. Reach out and receive from the hands of God. He is the healer today and He loves you. You are His child. You are His chosen one today he loves you and he wants you to walk in divine health and happiness and prosperity and satisfaction be healed today in the name of jesus i'm going to send for the anointing are you ready wherever you are in your living room in your dining room in your kitchen in your car in your office on the street with your phone in church or right here wherever you are right now in the name of jesus as i send for the anointing right now be healed in the name of jesus be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit. I see many are healed, many are saved, many are delivered, many are set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness. Beloved, it's the power of God. It's the work of the Holy Spirit. You are healed. You are healed. You are saved. You are delivered. If you're feeling a burning in the stomach, God is burning out that. God, the Holy Spirit is burning out that cancer. He's burning out that AIDS. He's giving you brand new kidneys. He's healing your heart, your lungs, your liver. That diabetes is gone. That migraine headache is gone. That cancer is gone. That arthritis pain is gone. That depression is gone. That oppression is gone. That anxiety is gone. In the name of Jesus, give me a big hand this morning. Write me, text me, call me. I let me know what God has done for you, my friends. You are special. You are chosen generation. You are special in the eyes of God. You are healed. Write me, text me, call me. Let me know what God. God has done for you. I love you very much in the love of God. Do enjoy the rest of this Wednesday. God bless you richly. I see you in the next session by the grace of God in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name. Amen and amen. Thank you Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen.